you haven't seen the breaking news yet. Dakota Access Pipeline will not pass through Standing Rock Reservation. Barack Obama to deny final permit for Dakota Access Pipeline. Army Corps halts Dakota Access Pipeline work, tells Standing Rock the current route for the pipeline will be denied. I can't even begin to describe how grateful I am and proud of all of the protesters who have made this happen and all of the people who have pulled together to support them. You know, so many people say protesting doesn't change anything, you should just accept it and move on, stop throwing a fit, whatever, but this is proof that protesting does have an effect and it can change things and you should not just accept anything that's wrong just because people are telling you that it can't be changed because it can change and we can change things and we have so much power when we stand together and people don't realize what we can accomplish when we all pull together for a single cause. I mean, the amount of support that the protesters had and have is just, it warms my heart to know that good still exists in such a broken world, and that may seem dramatic or whatever, but, you know, after this election, it's been really hard for me to see the positive in all of this, but I kept going back to the fact that all of the people protesting and all of the people who are standing up for what's right and standing up for what they believe in and supporting each other, that is important to acknowledge and important to remember that those people still exist and those people are who are going to change things and I cannot just sit back and let this be the reality because if everyone did that then nothing would ever change. I'm so excited and I was literally getting chills reading all of the headlines and going through social media and seeing how happy everyone is and when I saw the headlines, I called my mom because I didn't know where she was. She didn't even say hi when she answered the phone. She said, I saw the breaking news. I didn't know you were awake. I considered coming in there and waking you up to tell you because she ended up just being in the other room. But for those of you who don't know, I recently got a tattoo to support the protesters. Um, I will read you what the woman who designed it said about the design and you can go look on my Instagram to see the design because it's currently healing right now and it's kind of looking scabby and gross and it's on my ribs so it's kind of hard to show right now anyway. But uh, the woman who designed it, she is a descendant of, I don't want to butcher this, but the Osatai Sakowin, which is the Great Sioux Nation, and she was also a no DAPL movement participant. Um, and she said, The tattoo is my vision of the beautiful energy at Standing Rock through the perspective of my Lakota Dakota culture. I wanted to share it with everyone. Just like the No DAPL movement at Standing Rock, where everyone is welcome to stand with the people and protect the, again, I don't want to butcher this, but the MNI Wukoni, so too is everyone welcome to share in the design I have created. The Thunderbird in the tattoo looks over and protects all of us who stand with Standing Rock, and the TP houses us. The river of life nourishes everyone, and the circle in the heart of the Thunderbird represents all of us who have united through the power of prayer and spirituality because of Standing Rock. The seven dots flowing through the river represent the seven bands of the Osatai Sekowin 
who have come together in the past and today to protect and lead the way in this particular case into the future for the next seven generations to come. And this, um, this tattoo, they were asking tattoo artists and studios worldwide to tattoo the design for a minimum of $30 and donate all the proceeds to the Standing Rock Tattoo fundraising page, which all of it goes directly to the protesters at Standing Rock. And so a local tattoo shop near me was doing the design for $40 and I went and got it to show my support. Um, for those of you who don't know, my mom is part Native American and which makes me part Native American as well, but regardless of if they are part of my blood, they're also just people who deserve rights. And water is such a vital part of life. It's just like unreal to me how they can try and justify what was going on at Standing Rock and just like the way that the protesters were being treated, you know, being sprayed with water, the very thing they're trying to protect, which is such a slap in the face to begin with, but in negative degree temperatures, not only is that dangerous, but it's completely wrong. They were also being shot with rubber bullets, being tear gassed, I mean, like literal military force actions were being taken, and it was so unreal, like how can this be happening? It's... But I don't want to focus on all of that because while it's important to talk about all of that, and I have talked about that on my social media, um, this video is about celebrating the victory and celebrating all of the protesters who have s stood together through all of this. And I just want to take a moment to thank anyone who was supportive of this movement, who was involved, anyone who protested, anyone who spoke up, anyone who got involved, you know? It's so, so important to not stay silent. Like I said, I just wanted to come on here and celebrate the victory and all of the people who made this happen. And hopefully you guys are as excited about this as I am. Um, if you're not, then you can go ahead and leave because I don't want that kind of environment on my YouTube channel. Uh, I want this environment to be full of love and support and just standing up for what's right because that is the most important thing to me. So, I probably just babbled on and left out a few things, but if you want to stay updated on things like this and um, my opinion on things, you can follow me on social media. I encourage you to stay updated on the news and current events because this is your world that you're living in. You cannot possibly try to stay in your own little bubble. Um, this is the world that your children will be growing up in and you should care about these things. This is history being made and you are a part of it and your voice can be heard if you speak up. So, like I said, I think that's it and I will see you guys tomorrow.